Hi everyone and uh, good morning to you. Welcome to September 11th, 2020 as uh, we are here at First Baptist Church of Ravenswood and today we're going to be commemorating 9-11. We're going to honor those men and women who not only lost their lives on 9-11 but we want to remember all of the men and women today who serve as first responders whether they're in emergency services, whether they're with the fire department, the police department, people who put their lives on the line every day for us. So if you would, I'd like for you to go ahead and hit share on the video as we're broadcasting live. This will allow the people on your uh, friends list on your Facebook to join us. And then coming up at 946 this morning, we are going to be ringing the church bell 20 times today. And uh, then we're going to be going outside to our flagpole for a special um, a flag raising ceremony there and then a special presentation. So we've got a few things for you today as you're waking up to this 9-11-2020 uh, uh, special service that we have planned for you. So again, if you would, as you're tuning in, go ahead and please hit share on your video uh, and we're going to be talking with you here for a few minutes about 9-11. Again, Pastor Toby with you from First Baptist Church here in Ravenswood. We're located over at 215 Ann Street in Ravenswood, where in just a few moments we're going to be remembering 9-11 with the tolling of the church bell, and uh, it will be ringing 20 times today. Uh, we'll be going out to the flagpole for a special flag raising ceremony, and then we'll have a special uh, gift presentation that we're going to be doing as well. And uh, we'll be telling you how we're going to honor our first responders here in our community uh, today as well. So uh, again, if you would, uh, welcome to 9-11, our commemorative service this morning. If you would, please hit uh, share on your uh, Facebook, and that will allow folks to join us. Um, I remember where I was on 9-11. I was working in radio at the time, and, and uh, we were broadcasting live and had our uh, television monitor on, which I believe was on CNN at the time. And and uh, we remember they were reporting about a, a small plane that had crashed into uh, one of the towers. And it was while we were actually on the air uh, having conversation as we normally would during the, the course of the day, uh, the second plane crashed. And we actually saw that happen in real time. And uh, from that point on, of course, 9-11 uh, came to be. And so uh, we're, we're today here at First Baptist Church in Ravens, where we want to, to pause and just honor and remember 9-11. And for those of you, wherever you're watching today, uh, we trust that you'll be blessed with this. And then, of course, the archive version that's here, uh, you can share it after the broadcast for folks that may be working today and unable to watch it live. They can uh, watch as we speak. Today, we've got three people who are joining us here in the church um, that will be participating in the service today. I have Wayne Fridley and Gary Balser. Uh, those are uh, two military veterans um, who were um, serving our country, and uh, we know that both of them have fond memories of 9-11 here uh, living in West Virginia. They're part of our church, and we've also extended a very special invitation to uh, Deputy Fire Chief Craig Blackhurst from the Ravenswood Volunteer Fire Department here in town, and Craig's with us today, and he's going to be actually ringing the bell for us as we remember those uh, heroes of 9-11. So I'd like to bring Wayne Fridley in, if I could, for a couple of moments. And uh, Wayne's going to join me uh, here as we uh, talk a little bit about 9-11. And first of all, Wayne, thank you uh, for being here today. And thank you for uh, sharing uh, with us in this special occasion. Good morning, yes. Wayne, tell me, where were you on 9-11 and what do you remember most? I had uh, just reported to work at uh, Passione Road Products. Uh, I worked in the data center. I was a programmer there. And uh, when the first plane uh, hit the tower, uh, my boss, Pete Westenaver, uh, came out and started telling everyone that they needed to go in the computer room, main computer room, and uh, look at the TV. And uh, I went in and I saw, but I couldn't believe my eyes. Mm. It, it just unreal. And uh, so I stood there and I watched things unfold. And then at uh, 9.03, the uh, second plane hit the South Tower. And uh, I just couldn't believe what was going on. I saw people jumping out of the uh, building uh, at all levels. It mm. was crazy. Uh, yeah, I think, I think everybody who, who watched it on television, whether many people were like you were at work 
during that day, yeah. and, and I was, and, and we found out we didn't know what was going on, and watching it unravel was just something, it's hard to believe where we are today, you know, thinking that, you know, almost, uh, almost two decades later, we were still seeing the impact of 9-11. Let me bring Gary Balser in for a couple of quick moments. Uh, Gary is also going to be participating in our flag in our uh, comments, and then I'm going to bring Craig, Craig Blackhurst. Craig, if you'd come over, we're getting ready to start our bell ringing. Real quick, Gary, uh, tell me where, where you were on 9-11. I was off that day, and uh, I was asleep at the time the first one hit. My wife was up at the grade school reading to a kindergarten class. Uh, she came home and woke me up and said a plane had hit the World Trade Center. I said, well, that's happened before, and they've tried to blow it up before. Uh, but we really didn't know the size of the plane at that time. Uh, we didn't have any pictures of it. And until we did see how big it was, we thought it was just an accident. And then when the second one hit, we knew for sure something was, was seriously going on. Okay. And then we got on the TV all the rest of that day, that week, and okay. listened to the story. Thank you, uh, Gary. If I would, I'm going to bring uh, Craig, Craig Blackhurst in, and he's going to step over to the bell. It's uh, 846, and we're going to join him in a, a moment of silence as he tolls the bell 20 times in honor of those who gave their lives on 9-11. Ringing the bell 20 times today, four times for each of the locations involved in the 9-11 attacks. Four for the North Tower, four for the South Tower, four for the Pentagon, and four for Pennsylvania, and four in honor of the first responders who gave their lives. Now let's go outside. We're going to follow uh, Chief Deputy Chief Blackhurst. We're going to follow uh, both Mr. Fridley and uh, Mr. Balser. And we're going to go outside to the flagpole now for our flag-raising uh, ceremony. So join me as we exit the church here on Ann Street and make our way into the courtyard for today's special flag-raising ceremony. Again, honoring 9-11 today here in Ravenswood with the ringing of the church bells and the raising of the flag here in the courtyard. September 11, 2001, remembering today the sacrifices of those who gave their lives as responders. The Bible tells us in John chapter 15, there's no greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Wayne Fridley is on your right. Gary Balser is on your left. Both veterans, one of the Army, the other of the Air Force.
Now we're going to go over to Miss Susan West, who has a special presentation to make on behalf of the church today. The past few years, uh, it's difficult. They have so many people wanting to do things for our first responders. So we've been making goodie baskets that probably could last a few months. Uh, but uh, we need to remember the, the dangers that they go through for us, um, the trouble that they go through. Uh, they will run into running, you know, fire, into fires to save people's lives. Uh, the police are there to care for us and watch over us. The EMS is called on daily, uh, repeatedly, to save our lives. So, uh, in recognition of this day and, uh, and in deep appreciation uh, for what the service that you give to our community, Craig, uh, we we are giving goodie baskets to each of the fire department, the EMS, and the police department. And uh, great gratitude from the Board of Christian Men and First Baptist Church and their congregation. Thank you so much. Thank you. So today, what we've tried to do here at First Baptist Church is, is just remember 9-11. You know, I'm Pastor Toby with you, and, and we're just so grateful to be able to, to come into your home or in your car or wherever you might be today for just a few moments and, and pause and remember. The ringing of the church bells 20 times today, symbolizing four tolls for those who gave their lives in the North Tower and the South Tower, those who lost their lives at the Pentagon and those who lost their lives at uh, in Pennsylvania. In addition to that, four times it tolled for those responders who not only put their lives in the line, line at that day, many that didn't die on that day would die later due to cancer and other issues that they would have in the aftermath of cleaning up after 9-11. And many of them still have those health effects today from what happened nearly two decades ago. So today, again, we encourage you, wherever you are, to pause and remember. I think about my two kids, uh, my two biological kids I have. Both of them were born after September 11th, but neither one of them can remember 9-11. They were just little at that time. My other three children have no idea what 9-11 you know, felt like because they hadn't even been born yet. So for many, the next generation after me, they can only hear the stories of 9-11. They don't have the memories that you and I do of how life changed on 9-11-2001. So I encourage you, you know, as pastor and, and your friend to take time and, and talk with your kids and your grandkids about the significance of the day. You know, they say it was the day the world stopped turning. The whole world, you know, was watching what was happening in America. And for one day, all of America came together and the days following were united under God and indivisible, coming together for a common cause. In a time where we live where there seems to be much division in our nation today, let us use today as a reminder of how great our country is, how great America is, and how great we are when we come together. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful 9-11 uh, remembrance. Pray for those families that still struggle today. Pray for those families who will be sharing their story with children and grandchildren that many never got to know their relatives because of what happened on this day so long ago. Until we get together again, may God bless you. And please take, times to, take time to remember those men and women on 9-11 and those men and women today who not only don our uniform, but work in emergency services, work for the fire department, and uh, work for the law enforcement. They all put their uniforms every day uh, to keep us safe. And let us use today uh, as an opportunity to be reminded to pray for them every day in our walk of life. I'd like to give a special thank you to Deputy Chief Craig Blackhurst with the Ravenswood Volunteer Fire Department for being with us today and ringing the church bell in honor uh, of 9-11. Of I'd like to thank Ms. Susan West uh, with the Board of Christian Ed here at our church for uh, putting together the baskets and all those in the church who contributed to make those baskets possible. The church will be delivering those to the Ravenswood Police Department and to the Ravenswood EMS later today. I'd like to give a special thanks to Gary Ball 
Mosser and to Wayne Fridley, our uh, members of the military who were here today that took part in the uh, flag raising ceremony. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Kay Persley and John Stevenson who happened to join us here uh, to, to make this a special event here in the courtyard. May God bless you, pray for our country. I'd ask you to join me in a, in a prayer as we leave today. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. God, we thank you for every family, Lord, that takes time to, to remember the events of 9-11. And Father, while we all can agree that 9-11 is etched in our minds forever, Lord, we know that there are families that, that feel much differently today because a piece of them are missing because of what happened on 9-11. Father, we pray that they feel our prayers. And Lord, as we get together on this special occasion, we pray that you, you help bring unity to our country. Father, the greatest thing that happened on 9-11 was our country came together for a greater cause. And Father, we need that again here in our nation. Let us be reminded of how great we are when we work together, Lord, across boundaries and divisions. And Lord, help us not only do that as a, as a community here in Ravenswood, as a state of West Virginia, but Lord, a great nation. Lord, you put us in the greatest land of the world. Help us today pause, reflect, and show love, realizing that there are people who put their lives on the line every day to keep our families and our nation safe. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, may God bless you. Have a wonderful day today, and let's remember the importance of 9-11. Thank you for joining us.